So we're talking about values since morning. So I've been having this question because from my own personal experience, I've been seeing that values were never taught to me. I've always observed. Today, if I'm standing here, it's thanks to the visionary, my grandfather, you know, who created a lot of stuff. And I learned a lot by observation. My father was a great example. I learned a lot from him. And I learned from other people's mistakes. The mistakes that other people did, I saw that. So Mahatma Gandhi was somebody who spoke so much about Ahimsa. You know, he, but today, who is following Mahatma Gandhi? You know, so you can't teach value. So my question is, you know, when we speak about value education, I believe in a Sangha where people who follow certain values, we come together. So there is a Sangha. So then you automatically start following. So whether it's Chimmaya Mission or the Ramakrishna Mission or a Buddhist monastery or any other uh, mission that is there. So the biggest challenge I'm seeing today is how do you teach values? You know, you can talk about uh, Ashoka the Great, you can talk about Ramanuja, you can talk about Thiruvalluvar or, you know, any saint. But how do you teach? You know, the student has to be ready. So how do you make the student ready? And if there is just one person in my life, I see I have one guru and I was so lucky. And today if I'm standing here, it's because of some past punya that I have done that I received all those things. It's grace. So how do you make a student ready so that the right teacher appears? So that's my question, sir. Yeah, absolutely correct. You know, many people think that values cannot be taught. They are only caught. They are only observed. Only then they will come. Both are correct to some extent. But most important thing is rationally, when you put forward a universal thing, which is true anywhere, everywhere. And when you start self-introspection, you start believing in it. Till then, you will not agree to some theoretical lecture by a teacher. But when you are asked some 10 questions and each time when you answer, you your heart will start rendering you that, no, 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 I shouldn't do this, I should do it. Don't force upon any young student because they are the ones who are rebellions. Actually, at the age group of some, say, 15, 16 to 18, 19, 20 is the most rebellion age group. But they question everything. But when they get answers for their question, by not forcing upon them the, uh, the answers, but to ask them to self-introspect. Once that happens, they will all start following this particular system. This is the most important thing.